In this video tutorial, we're going to look at note logging. And this template is special and then it works in conjunction with another template. That other template is the multi-line text field. We have two columns that we're going to be working with. In SharePoint, I've named my columns add note and note log. You can, of course, use your own column names. The add note column, which is our target, that is a simple text field. The note log field is the multi-line text field, and you do want to apply the formatting on that first. That is required in order to use this template. One other comment, you are required to show the modified by field in this view in order for the functionality to work as expected. As with all the templates, when you first arrive, you should check out the different themes. In this case, there's not a lot of variation because it's just a simple input form, but you can choose from those or make adjustments as you want. We'll go with the default option. The separator text is what will go between the values, the node entry, which we'll see in a second. You can use whatever you want. By default, it is space and then the pipe character in another space. And then you can actually change the um, text that shows in the button. Maybe I want to use a plus sign instead of add, something like that. Of course, it's going to show you the preview. And you can control the hover selection, font size, all of those typical things. We're going to use the default log format option. And then you do need to provide the names of the two fields. So in this case, it was add log, or excuse me, add note and note log. You can use whatever field names you like. That just happens to be the selections I use, but it is required that you enter those field names. You can optionally choose whether you want to have a clear button. The clear button will actually completely remove the contents of the log. So that may be useful or maybe something you don't want to include because you're afraid users will delete valuable content. So that's up to you whether or not you would like to use that option. Once you've got that all set, you can go ahead and copy that in to do your formatting. Okay, and now I see the form. Now, by default, it's not going to show me the add button. The way that this functionality works is I need to enter some text and that's going to update the add note field. Okay, as soon as I hit the tab button, it will store the value in the add note field and now I see an add button appear. Watch what happens when I click that. Two things occurred. One, it went ahead and added to this note log field, and it's got the name, date time stamp, and the text that I just entered. Notice also when I hover over this field, there is the uh, shadow box. And you can learn more about that in the other tutorial for that template. So now we'll add some more, and you'll see how the um, log keeps getting appended to. Okay, I just again hit tab. As soon as I do that, it stores the value and then I can click add. That will append to the log. Notice this is in prepend mode currently, which means the newest entry is gonna show on top. You can alternatively use append and it means they'll add at the bottom. Okay, and there's another entry. Now in the template options to multi-line text, you can control how big that box will get before it will stop growing. And that's where the hover uh, text comes in. So that's how the add note option works. Again, there's a couple of steps. You enter the value and hit tab. That saves the value in the add note field. And then you'll be able to see the add button. And then of course, if you hit clear, that's going to delete the contents of the log. That is optional for you to um, use that parameter. You can control the text on the buttons, and then you have all the typical options. 
you can control, uh, for example, the background color on the uh, buttons, the button text colors, and um, the hover color is the color that shows when you hover over the box. So I hope you found that useful and uh, hopefully you can set that up. And again, just as a reminder, what you need are two fields. You need to have first the notes log field, uh, which can be called whatever you want. That would be a multi-line text field, not using the rich text option. That's incompatible. You have to use plain text. And then this field is going to be a simple uh, text field in SharePoint. Hopefully you find that useful and good luck.